Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. Now, I haven't exactly announced this one, but I'm sure a few people are interested in it. It's a re-release of the S-Stop by Backman and London Transport Museum and Bombardier, of course. Uh, this is only a four coach pack so far, they haven't announced any middle coaches. So let's get straight into it and start unboxing. So let's zoom out over here, get the box open. This arrived today, unfortunately I wasn't in when it arrived. Uh, I was, well, oddly enough, in London. Uh, however, I didn't ride any S-Stop today. I had to take the Victoria line. Oddly enough, to go to Victoria on work-related business. And I've just clouded the 9F. It's just what we like. So, big old instructions from what I can see in the bottom. Um... Manufacturer's information, very nice uh, layout they have. Things for getting the body off, fitting a decoder, running in, curves, uh, no, sh um, no tighter than second radius. Uh, 21 pin sockets and how you should assemble the train including the coach numbers and a parts list. So we should mention straight away what's the actual difference between uh, this and the old one. Running numbers, line and destination on the front, train reporting number and Featured this time printed mockets on the seating. That's tight in there, okay. It's a beautiful bit of kit actually. I don't own the previous version, however, I do have uh, the previous version on loan from a friend. So let's have a look at this. Hey, there we go. See if you can see on the end. Come on, focus, autofocus. Baker Street, Metropolitan Line, and the reporting number is 425. What is going on in that bag? Oh, hello. What's going on there? I don't, whoa. I don't know what's up with that. Or if that's just if that's just me, or or what with that? I oh, know it's it's fine now. I think it was just um, having a moment. We'll see. We'll see if it works when it gets on the bloody track. Oh, there's another pamphlet in here on product and maintenance care, uh, cleaning and maintenance, lubrication, DCC, warranty, and join collectors club. Perfect. You don't have to pander to me, Backman. I already am a member. So this is decidedly lighter, this coach. Uh, take it probably because it hasn't got a motor in it. I, think. I hope everyone enjoyed the videos I did recently of the Manor on the West Somerset Railway. That's my first time there. It's very, um, it's a very nice railway actually. Uh, it's a shame that they got a lot of flack over their um, permanent way being shagged at one point or another. Now I've just noticed some spares in this one. Let's see what we've got going on. There we go. What is that? A spare set of wheels, attraction tyres, and cogs. So I guess they are for the thing. And I'm not sure what that black long piece is. Maybe to assist in uncoupling. Ooh. On these end cars, the packaging seems to be um, horribly tight on the coach. Um, not sure if I've said already, but um, even though I have got one of these on loan from a friend, like the old 
older version. Um, I've never actually run it on my layout, which is kind of sad, but I just sort of haven't, have, haven't had the time or the space on the layouts. Because Andy's always switching between different things for his videos and I just, uh, I can't fight a losing battle in that case. I think I've got uh, two full trains that are mine on the layout at the moment, the rest are Andy's. So let's assemble this and we'll cut to it once it's fully put together. So here we are, it's all together and I've got to say that was incredibly easy to get together and put on the track um, just sort of popping it down over the track no power to the track um, and then clipping them together and mounting them on the rails I've got to say really nice close coupling on the corridors maybe a little improvement if people are not too happy now something I have to look at yeah, you can see it. Printed moquette seats. Look at that. Well done, lads. That's a new staple, I think. Probably a new niche. However, I wonder how uh, how happy Batman would be to do that to stuff like their Mark 1s and such. The printing detail on it is really nice. Especially the seats. Those look really fine. Well done, lads. Uh, bogey detailing is fine. Because this is, of course, underground stock, it's very squat in terms of bogies. A really nice bit of kit. Uh, but, of course, very much, if you've got the old one, you already know how nice this is. <laughs> so let's get back on the tripod and see how it uh, runs so I have no real doubt that uh, this will work um, but what we need to look at is how it will handle point work that's one of the main staples of everyone's layout so it's already over a curved point then it's a double slip and another curved point going the other way uh, and then we'll see how it handles um, high speed express points as well so let's set the route out of the yard that looks fine grab the controller and the camera of course and give it some juice it runs fine does of course still need running in so that's something to watch handles the double slip fine and the curved point fine no continuity issues there of course you've got plenty of pickups so of course there is some motor noise it's yet to be run in yet and of course you've got to hide those motors under the floor handles that express point perfectly nice smooth runner from the box and something to note as well if I can get around here and show it of course we've got directional lighting that destination board at the top is lit I don't know if that was a feature on the last one. Fantastic. And now I want to check the gauging on Batman Syncroft platforms because of course I suspect everyone's going to try and park this in a platform. So it's going to run into the bay. And the power down a little bit. Of course, very close, but I think that makes it. Let's give it a stop right there. Okay. So let's have a look at both sides, see how close they get. Uh, I think the term in the book is very bloody close. And the other side? Oh, a bit further away. Okay. So yeah, that looks fine. I didn't hear any scraping against the platforms, so I think it's a passing grade from me. Um, it's at a really nice height with the platforms, actually, considering the doors. Very nice. So let's zip it the other direction. And we'll get some footage of it just running around the layout.
So, that's a new, well, rerun of S Dog by Bachman. Would I recommend you get this? Well, now we're going to have to talk about the, the big old thing that I've been avoiding the price. This regular retail from London Transport Museum is £595. If you are a first time purchaser, you can have 10% off, so that brings it down to about 540 If you are a uh, repeat offender of the London Transport Museum, you get 15% off, uh, so that's an even bigger discount. Uh, but regular retail price, you're looking at, without a discount, £595. Now, I'm not going to say that you should buy this over the second hand market, but you should buy this over the second hand market. Unless you're looking to, of course, build up an eight coach train, because as of yet, there is no indication that Backman are going to produce from the London Transport Museum the middle coaches for this unit. I must say it looks really smart and really nice as a four car unit, but if you're doing it as a prototypical thing and you want a full eight coach S8 stock unit, you're going to want eight coaches. So maybe that initial run is your better bet. The moquette printing is really nice, although I think it's a niche and very much um, maybe a way of enticing people who already have that initial batch of S stock to buy this one. It's very nice that they've decided to do a different line, different numbers. Um, and of course the tooling I don't believe uh, has changed at all. Um, so again, this is what I'm going to say. I'd much rather give my money to London Transport Museum than the second hand market. And the reason for that is I'd much rather give the money towards um, the museum itself for keeping its stuff running. Of course, London Transport Museum have probably commissioned Backman specifically for this, another run of them. Backman have obliged, and now London Transport Museum are doing it to turn a bit of a profit for the museum. So I have full endorsement to buy it directly from them. Is endorsement the right word? I have full motivation to buy it from them. There we go. So yes, I'd say buy it directly from London Transport Museum. Um, if you're willing to part with that much for four coaches. Uh, again, this is a limited edition thing, so slap anything limited edition in front of me and I will probably buy it. As you can tell by the two 66s that are on that railhead treatment train in the sidings, um, they're both limited editions. <laughs> um, yes, I do like the rare and the limited editions. And of course I love my London Transport stuff. Um, of course, again, I never owned an S-Stop before, but thanks to my friend, I'll leave a link to his channel down below, Poxy Moxon. Um, he has lent me his full eight car S stock unit. So maybe I will do a comparison directly between this and the old version. But from what I understand, again, it's the running numbers, destination, train reporting number, uh, line it's running on, and the printed moquettes is the distinct changes between this and the old version. The motor noise is a little loud, but for the benefit of the doubt, I will say this is not run in at all yet. And it is bloody cold up in this shed. Um, and I imagine it's been very bloody cold for the past day or so, sitting in warehouses and vans as it's been getting to me. So if you have that kind of pocket money lying around, I'd suggest you buy one directly from London Transport Museum. If not, Maybe just see if you've got a friend who'd be willing to lend you their original run version. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Leave a comment um, if you have any questions about maybe the layout, something else that's on the layout, or this model in particular. Um, I'll do my best to try and reply to them, uh, but unfortunately I am relatively busy these days with work. Um, but if I get the time, I'll definitely reply. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. 
and until next time goodbye